So your glazed donut's ready. Oh, hey, thank you. And wait a minute, aren't you Chris Brown, former 12-year NFL veteran Husker kicker? That's me. Wait to me. Sitting in a Dunkin' Donuts, it's one of about a million that you own in the Midwest. <laughs> you're the you're the latest king of Dunkin' in the Midwest, right? I don't know about king. Uh, you know, we've we've started this as going on our uh, ninth year. You know, really, what's been enjoyable is just the the people that you meet, um, our team. You know, seeing people start with you, you know, as a crew member um, and grow with the company, um, and helping them realize their dreams. Um, so that's been the, the most rewarding part of this, of this venture. Why coffee? Why donuts? Why Dunkin'? I remember um, going to a Dunkin' when I was a kid growing up in, in Dallas. We'd occasionally get to stop there before school um, and I'd get a maple frosted donut. And it would probably been, I don't know, maybe 15 years since I'd been to a Dunkin'. But I could literally close my eyes and I could taste a maple frosted donut and I was immediately you know, eight years old again. So I, I felt like that any brand that could elicit that, you know, emotional of a response was a brand that you probably wanted to align yourself with. The first thing I think of during that first year is obviously the win over the Cowboys, Sunday night football, mm -hmm. great game. I love seeing the Cowboys lose. I'm a Bears fan, but Cowboys fan, you know how they are. I mean. Well, I grew up in Dallas, of course. I'm, yeah. I was a lifelong Cowboys fan. And I assume Cowboys you converted. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no offense, right. of course. No, no, none taken. <laughs> uh, that game. You know, what was the energy like? You know, I've played in a lot of games, um, but that has to be in the top three uh, as far as just the electricity and the energy in the building. Uh, you know, the fans were, 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 I mean, as you can imagine, pumped up. It was a night game, it was Sunday Night Football. Yeah. So they had all day long, you know. To get ready. To get ready, <laughs> right? If you Google Chris Brown, even though it's spelled completely different, you know who comes oh, up, yeah, right? Yeah. C Breezy. Oh yeah. D yeah. Is that annoying? You know, it's and has not, it made you get into his music? You know, I I no, <laughs> uh, I don't get into his, his music. Um, it's okay. I'm yeah. not saying I'm not trying to say I don't like it. I just it's just not my genre. But um, I'm a little bit older, so I like the the kind of the early '90s rap is really what I like. All right, a couple rap, rapid fire sure. questions, Absolutely. and then we're out of here. All right. Um, Okay, so you know how most parents threaten to spank their kids when they're bad? Do you threaten to kick them? I've never threatened to kick them, no. No? No. I would be afraid of what, what would happen if I did. If the misses? If, yeah, the misses absolutely, Brown? yes, yes. Um, what's the furthest you ever kicked the ball left-footed? Um, I think 30 yards. Really? Yeah, 30. Okay, so when you left Nebraska, you had every conceivable kicking record. Mm -hmm. Points, field goals, mm -hmm. most consecutive. Until that damn Alex Henry from Omaha Burke came along and broke a lot of them. Have you ever just met and wanted to kick him? No. no. <laughs> he's a pretty nice guy. He is. He's a great guy. He had a guy. good career. Had a really career, good career. Absolutely. Final question. Sure. Um, where do you keep your two Nebraska national championship rings? Like if I go to Chris Brown's house, yeah. am I just gonna see them right when I walk in? Am no. I gonna see jerseys? You'll see jerseys, but cool. not rings. I don't. I don't. The rings are probably in a safety deposit box. Or yeah, my son, like he's he's uh, my youngest son is a is a pretty good baseball player, and they go and win these tournaments, and they get these like you know now they get these fake rings. Do they really? Oh yeah. <laughs> but so like for whatever reason, he takes all of his rings, and he because he sees my national championship rings in there, he like puts his baseball rings in there, and I'm like, you're putting your you know, nine nine year old U Triple S A you know, you know, championship ring in with these national championship rings. He's like, yeah, I am. I don't want to I don't want to lose them. I don't want to I don't want to get destroyed in a fire. I'm like, well, I'm glad you realize that, you know, these these are rubbing up against, you know, two national championship rings. So he'll understand one day.